Bemidji now has a place where you can stretch your dollar when it comes to food, and it will only cost you $20. Haiti Clatter shows us how Ruby's Pantry is feeding the community. It happens the third Wednesday of every month. You'll see a line that wraps around the block as people wait at Mount Zion Church for Ruby's Pantry to open. For anyone that eats, there is no financial obligation um, or criteria that they have to meet. So everyone is welcome to come. This is the second month Ruby's Pantry has distributed food in Bemidji. Some have waited as early as noon, although food isn't issued until 5. Was it worth the wait? Oh, yeah. That's a lot of food. I'm going to have to have a big party. It's called a hand up and not a handout, and companies donate the food to Ruby's Pantry. Guests pay $20 and get food like pizza, chicken, and potatoes and household items that would usually cost almost $120. Sometimes a paycheck's not that large, and uh, they can cover the first two weeks, and this is something that we hope will take care of the last two weeks at least. The food is brought into the gym where volunteers help divide the food into 400 shares. Two large boxes equal one chair and each person will leave with two boxes worth of food. Joanna Downey heard about Ruby's Pantry a few weeks ago and decided to stop by. She says Bemidji is a small town and appreciates any help it gets. Instead of just going to like a food shop, there's, you can contribute to it and so that kind of makes it neat so you feel like you're giving a little bit back too. I think it's great. Driver Patrick Trent has made trips to Detroit Lakes and Monaga, but this is his largest haul. Today, 400 people were served. It says we're doing something right. <laughs> so there's a lot of needy people, and it's a good deal. Last year, Ruby's Pantry provided food for more than 100,000 families. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. And Ruby's Pantry has 65 locations in cities across Wisconsin and Minnesota, including Little Falls and Brainerd. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.